the million year ice core, essentially what happens is that snow falls on the ice cap and over time that actually gets compressed into ice. And that ice core actually traps tiny bubbles of the atmosphere that give us a record of things like carbon dioxide, oxygen levels, methane levels, any particular ash from volcanic eruptions, all of that gets trapped in the ice core as a record of past climate. So by drilling an ice core that goes one million years into the past, we can essentially reconstruct past climate, which not only tells us about the past, but also helps us project forward to what might the future might look like in terms of climate. So we're using the ice core essentially like pages in the diary to give us a window into the past. Yeah. Darren, why is it um, important for us to be there? Because it seems an area where... Um, Australia not only has a scientific interest, we have a strategic interest and our commitment to it has been maintained at a time when, you know, a lot of scientists have lost their jobs. Yeah, we have a rich history of Antarctic exploration and it's a very expensive form of doing science too. You know, that sort of science in extreme environments and big projects like drilling a million years back into an ice core, uh, you know, that doesn't come cheap. But the reason we need to do it is, is manifold. I mean, th these ice cores are kind of like a chemical history book of, of the Earth, right? And, and, and through the chemistry, we can learn a lot about the biology and about the atmosphere and everything else that's been going on back through history. So not only does that help us understand um, our past and, and civilization's history, it helps us test and build better climate prediction models, for example, uh, all sorts of models, but particularly climate prediction models. So by going back in time and looking at how the atmosphere has changed, we can build that noise, build those changes into the existing models. And that means that our predictions of what's going to happen in the future are much better. They're much tighter, even though the ones we've got are uh, already excellent. But that means we get better, uh, hopefully, get better policy. It means we can make better decisions about how things are going to happen because we can have a little more certainty around how the predictions might play out. Mm.